I'm here with Pastor Miguel Ramos of the of the oh, West right. Houston Spanish Seventh-day Adventist Church. And your church was flooded and the master guides have come in to help, but they're not limiting the help to the church. They're also going to neighbors. There's a, one story about a neighbor of the church that's especially interesting. How are the master guides helping one of those neighbors? Perfect. Uh, well, first of all, thank you for all the master Thank God for all the master guides that are helping here. But the thing is, uh, we have a lot of neighbors that were affected, but uh, one of those neighbors shows a special situation. We try to help them and they say no at first, but then they allowed us to help and we offer them to, to um, give them all the sheep growth they needed. And not just give it to them, but help them install it. So we have master guys and we have other members of the church today finishing that house. That's a wonderful testimony and uh, it's, it's nice because the person, the main uh, person living in that church is a young man, uh, maybe 35 years old and he was, he was kind of uh, depressed. But after we offer help, he, he get out of his house for the first time in a couple of days that week. So it was awesome seeing him coming into our church to just to say thank you for what you're doing. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful that that's something extraordinary that I experienced and my church is experiencing right now. Mm. Now there was a story about an elderly man who was trying to clean up his yard. You offered help several times and he, not only did he say no, but he kind of became antagonistic. You <laughs> found out later why. Why was that? <coughs> well, uh, I, I think some of the members of my church said, uh, you know, Pastor, you know, we have some trouble with those, uh, those people. I think they are racist or something. And, but we didn't care about that. We offered the help and later on we found out that they really needed our help. And now they're very happy. I, I seen, I've seen them later this week. And they receive me and they say, hey, come, uh, Miguel, come inside. You want some water? Come in. They receive me as if they, they knew me for a long time. So it's a change of perspective. It's a change of uh, the way they treat us. It's, it's good. It's a blessing. Amen. So here we are in a day and age where people protest and their racial divides and ethnic divides. But here with a Spanish church reaching out to their neighbors of a different ethnicity and being kind and helpful, it has broken down some of those barriers. Amen. And now there is a, a group in that house taking out sheetrock, putting in new sheetrock. And um, hearts are open, minds are open now amen, to the gospel. Amen, amen. Thank you for your service and the, the service of this church family. You could have been all caught up in just getting your own church building in shape, but you're helping the neighbors too. Amen, Thanks so much amen. and God bless amen. you. Blessings. Thank you. Thank you.